So here I am once again with my first impressions of one of the newer animes to come out this summer season 2017 and it's called Dive. Now this is nothing like free. I know for a fact a lot of people are comparing this to free even before it was this episode even came out itself people were comparing this and I would say you shouldn't do that and you shouldn't set your hopes that high because you don't know how this story will play out and you don't know if it'll be anything of course in terms of story it won't be anything like free so don't set your expectations that high now I might get, I'm gonna give you guys a little information at the end in regards of dive versus free so I'm just gonna go into my first impression now for this first episode it was okay it didn't really stand out to me I think in terms of like the characters only one of them did and it was Yoichi himself not even the MC Tomoki was all that interesting to say so we come to find out for Tomoki he's part of this club called the Mizuki Diving Club and it's a club that's um, sponsored or given donations by other sponsors to keep the club up so it's nothing associated with his school which is also another difference that we um, usually see from most sports anime where they usually are a high school setting yes they are high school students but it's nothing that is linked to their school at all so we have where Tomoki started at MDC because he admired Yoichi now as they explain in this episode Yoichi he is basically a prodigy you always have to have at least one prodigy in a sports anime and the reason why is because his mom used to be a diver a really good one and his dad was a former Olympian so it kind of runs in the blood and also his dad is his coach as well so he's been doing this since he was like yay high so Yoichi um Tomoki saw him and he says I want to be able to do the same thing as him as well so even now he continues to admire um, Yoichi as well but unfortunately for their club it's not doing so well because they're on like the red line and they're very close to getting shut down and their sponsors just pulling out and going to other people um, to work with so we have where they actually introduce this new coach by the end of the episode by the name of Kayoko who is going to train these boys these individuals into becoming Olympian pros like she is going to make them become even more dedicated and she's going to train them like never before so that way people will see that this club has what it takes they are doing everything that they can and they can show results at the end of the day that you know they have potential uh, sportsmen people who are driven for this sport and that they actually can give actual results and therefore they'll get more sponsors to help fund this um this club that they're in so in terms of the visuals um the water the water is nice the water always has to be nice it looks very um very appealing character designs uh it's gonna take a while to get used to some of them look very standard they don't stand out at all like i said yochi is actually really the only one that stands out both in character design and actual appeal of his character um but there are more characters to come so we'll see from there of course we're gonna have a lot of challenges from different clubs as well so i want to see how that goes one thing i do want to know is like in terms of scoring um, possibly there are different variations of scoring possibly from the height that they dive from um, from the distance of the diving board or the plat uh, the pl uh, platform they are from to the water their splash um, how do they score that like they're diving how do they score overall I want to know how they do that and hopefully they're able to explain that for people who are not knowledgeable in that sense um 
but in particular yeah this episode was okay i'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and i'm gonna give it the three episode ruling hopefully it does better within those two episodes for me to actually see where the story is going and um in hopes that i may stick with it now you can tell me in the comment section below in regards of how you felt about this first episode if you're going to stick with it because I know some people do drop this show after the first episode instead of giving it the three episode ruling or are you going to continue till the third episode and see from there. Now the little news that I have for Dive. Now many people assume that Free was the one that came out first before Dive. Yes, in terms of its anime, knowing that Free came out in 2013 and this came out this year in 2017, that is correct. But if you actually, you know, go look up some information or background story about these um, two uh, stories, in terms of the actual stories that they were based off, we, if most of you know, Free was based off the novels High Speed. And those, that, novel or those two novels told of the story when Haru, Makoto, Rin, and Nagisa were in elementary then Rin moved to Australia and then Haru and Makoto started their days in middle school and I believe the novel came out between the years of 2010 to 2012 I may be wrong about those years for Dive Now it was based on a novel and manga so it had four novels that were published between the years of August um, 2000 to August 2002 and it was published by uh, Kondansha, Kondansha and then for the manga it was published by Weekly Shonen Sunday with five manga volumes from the years 2007 to 2008 so Dive in terms of its story and where it's based on came out well over a decade before Free did. So in terms of storyline, Free is actually the, the successor, if you will, um, from Dive. I don't know if the people who wrote the novel of High Speed look to get some type of inspiration off of Dive or any other series that dealt with, you know, swimming or diving. But if you wanted that case, I just wanted to give that little information and then if you are a fan of Dive and you read both the novels and the manga, do tell me in the comment section below how do you feel about this first episode? Was it any different from the novels and the manga? Um, if not, then um, can you tell me in terms of how you felt about this episode in particular do you feel that they did a good job doing an adaptation of this first episode if not then you can tell me um your other reasons as to why um i don't even know in particular how many episodes dive will have but i know it's produced by zero g who also did battery which was that baseball anime that came out last year summer and also sue Gumono, which came out this spring so not too much anime is done by zero g but hopefully they do well with this new series their first their second overall sports anime so if you guys saw this first episode of die do tell me in the comment section below on how you felt about it the links are in the description box as always so you guys go check that out and i'm kimmy chan of anime legends podcast and i will see you guys later bye